Chapter 12 This message concerning the fate of Israel came from the Lord. This message is from the Lord, who stretched out the heavens, laid the foundations of the earth, and formed the spirit within humans. I will make Jerusalem and Judah like an intoxicating drink to all the nearby nations that send their armies to besiege Jerusalem. On that day I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone, a burden for the world. None of the nations who try to lift it will escape unscathed. On that day, says the Lord, I will cause every horse to panic and every rider to lose his nerve. I will watch over the people of Judah, but I will blind the horses of her enemies. And the clans of Judah will say to themselves, The people of Jerusalem have found strength in the Lord Almighty their God. On that day I will make the clans of Judah like a brazier that sets a woodpile ablaze, or like a burning torch among sheaves of grain. They will burn up all the neighboring nations right and left, while the people living in Jerusalem remain secure. The Lord will give victory to the rest of Judah first, before Jerusalem, so that the people of Jerusalem and the royal line of David will not have greater honor than the rest of Judah. On that day the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be as mighty as King David, and the royal descendants will be like God, like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. For my plan is to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Then I will pour out a spirit of grace and prayer on the family of David and on all the people of Jerusalem. They will look on me, whom they have pierced, and mourn for him as for an only son. They will grieve bitterly for him as for a firstborn son who has died. The sorrow and mourning in Jerusalem on that day will be like the grievous mourning of Hadad Rimon in the valley of Megiddo. All Israel will weep in profound sorrow, each family by itself, with the husbands and wives in separate groups. The family of David will mourn, along with the family of Nathan, the family of Levi, and the family of Shimei. Each of the surviving families from Judah will mourn separately, husbands and wives apart. 